guys. Happy Saturday. No, Sunday, right, Peanut? Happy Sunday. We are just leaving Goodwill, and you guys almost rolled off Goodwill. I ain't even gonna lie. Um, oops, hold on. Let me turn down my jams. Let me turn down my music before YouTube is like, no, ma'am, that's copyright. Um, sir, what are you trying to do? Turn and go straight. Educate me, please. Um, so we little dude wanted to come thrifting, and yes, little dude wanted to come thrifting yesterday at his little birthday shindig. I was asking him, you know, you want to do anything else? Do you want to go here? Do you want to go there? Still, you know, trying to to do something fun and different and an outing, and he's just like, meh. But he did want to go to Thrift Town, which we've already Thrift Town. Yeah, we have already been to Thrift Town, and then we skipped on over to Goodwill, went to the bins, and. I was already agitated at the bins before we went into the store and I was agitated because the people they have working at the bins, you guys have heard me say this before, they're freaking mean, man. They're just mean. They'll talk to you outside of their head and oh, they're just, they're just, they're just nasty people. <coughs> and um, I had my phone out. We had already gone through all the bins and everything, but I didn't have much to put on this video because I didn't get much footage for his birthday and um, I wanted to visit with you guys again. So I'm like, well, let me put together another little video. I'll get some uh, footage while we're thrifting. And I already know that they don't allow filming in the bins. I already know this. So that's not why I'm mad, okay? I'm mad at the approach, okay? If I was going to get fronted out, if I was going to get caught, that's fine. I was playing with fire. I'm recording and I know I'm not supposed to. I was trying to do it slick like though. Because we had already gone through everything. And then I'm like, well, let me get some bin footage. Because there is some okay stuff in these bins. But little dude and I got caught in the melee. Now, I don't know that we've... At Black Friday, he has done it. When they, when they tell everybody to stop. And then they'll blow the horn. And then everybody kind of runs at all the new product that they put out. He's done it at Black Friday before because it's just calmer of a situation, more professional, I guess you could say. But we've never done it at the bins. And this go around, I was noticing, I kept hearing the workers just being nasty and telling people, just, you know, obviously talking to the customers again outside of their neck, outside their mouth. Just being rude and nasty, getting people to get out the way because they were bringing out new stuff. So I figured we're there. We've already done rounds. Um,. If it's not too chaotic, I asked little dude if he wanted to, you know, get in there. And we got in there and I scored a few things in that melee. But anywho, uh, back to what I was saying. I was already agitated because prior to uh, little dude and I joining in on the new stuff, I was trying to be slick and get a little footage, just a little. And people were acting crazy getting in line for the new stuff. So I kind of panned. I wasn't really recording a lot. I just, I opened my camera and I started panning. And some skinny, guy looked like he came out of a horror movie uh, in some crazy thick accent and I'm not saying that to be ugly I'm just saying because it took me a while to understand what he was saying I eventually understood him as saying no cameras no cameras there's no cameras allowed in here I said oh, okay I'm sorry I saw you filming I said okay dude and I flipped my phone over to him to show him that I had turned the camera off like I said, I'm not mad because he told me no filming. I already know there's no filming allowed. It's how you come at somebody. You came at me as if though I were filming your child. As if though I were filming you filling out a check or using your credit card or something. Just nasty, nasty approach. I'm just like, ugh, I swear. But, so I was already agitated when we went into the store. Man, I swear. I, didn't I say 2024 was going to be the year that I get straight to the point on these long-winded stories? 
I can't do it, y'all. I can't. But anyway, I was already agitated from that. Um, then I was a little agitated by all of the crowding when me and little dude decided to join the melee. I mean, I'm like, we ain't gonna do that again because I don't like it. It's too many people. It's, 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 uh, it's just too many people. So we went into the store and I'm gonna relax, you know, I like Goodwill, you're right? So I'm gonna relax and I'm walking down. Little dude comes around the corner, all excited with this ridiculous. You wanna show him? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> We came around the corner with this ridiculous thing. I don't know if he's been showing you guys because I've been focusing on the road. So it's, it's a mascot sheep. It's a black sheep. Yeah. It's a black sheep head. Now they sell these at uh, uh, Party City, they sell them at Walmart, they sell them all over the place around Halloween. So we're coming around the corner and I noticed that the tag is still dangling on it. Now my only fear with these kind of things is lice. What if they have lice in them? What if they have some kind of cootie in them, right? He already had it over his head. But I saw that it was new and had a tag on it. I'm like, oh, he didn't want much for his birthday, guys. And he is my son. He, he don't stick his nose up in the air uh, to anything thrifted. So I already knew I, was, I wanted to get it for him. So, but I was curious about the price because it still had a new tag on it. And uh, he shows me the tag, you guys. Do y'all see that ridiculous price discrepancy? So I said no, but then I'm like, no, don't say no until you go talk to the people up front. At least let them know they're making a mistake with the pricing because there's no way you should be charging somebody that much for a $20 rent an item, even if it still has a tag on it. So I went up to the front to the register guy and uh, I asked him if there was a mistake. I have a question. Is that a mistake? So I knew it's 1988. Is that a mistake? <laughs> Jesus. Right? I'm like, no way. Can I get Ashley to the front, please? Ashley to the front. What were they thinking? Well, he calls his manager, and his manager comes around the corner. She looks at the tag, and she's like, oh, my goodness, I cannot believe they priced it this way. She said, well, now that she's seen the price, I can't very well charge her $43.99 for something that still has a tag on it. And I'm thinking to myself, shady. Now, everybody knows a lot of people have a problem with Goodwill because of their... The, the, the prices they're putting on a lot of their items considering all these items are donated and stuff a lot of people have a problem with Goodwill the CEO is making millions of dollars while their workers barely get by I understand this uh, but when she said well I can't sell it to her for $43.99 now that she's seen that it has a, a, t a new tag on it I was just like ugh so she goes well I can sell it to you for $9.99. I said, okay, that, that's fine. I'll do $9.99. You know, we just make sure we put, well, I can't do Lysol now because somebody done stuck it on his head. Hopefully there ain't no kookalaburas in it. No cooties. But, um, but uh, you know, I figured 10 bucks is good. We'll, we'll get it, you know, I'll throw it in the dryer with some heat and a little bit of Lysol. And it should be good if there's any creepies, creepy crawlies in it. So I said, $10, $10 is fine. She goes, I'll go make you a tag for it. Well, I waited around for about five minutes. I'm like, well, maybe I misunderstood. So I asked the little register guy, did she mean she was going to make a tag and come back? Or she was going to come back with the tag and I'm ready to check out? She goes, you don't have to wait. He said, you don't have to wait. When you're ready to check out, just look for me and I'll check you out and I'll charge you the $9.99. I said, okay. So we went around looking at stuff and when we're ready to leave, the same little guy, I went made sure to go to the same little guy at the register, friendly kid, friendly, friendly kid. Uh, he had spotted one of those little plug-in wall water fountains that make the little dripping sound. And I saw him, prior to going back to the register, I saw him at the back shelf looking for it and you know, grabbing it and bringing it up to the front and him and his coworker were discussing it. And apparently he's been wanting one of those and uh, I, I asked him, you know, just out of curiosity, do you collect them? He said, no, I just have a certain vibe going on in my room. And we start chit-chatting about how zen his room is and why he wants one of those little fountains. Nice kid, right? So, hey, we're putting our stuff on the counter. And he gets the, the sheep head and he's like, we said $9.99, right? I said, uh-huh. And he goes, well, it looks to me like that's a red tag, right? Red tag was 50% off today. So, we got that sheep head for five bucks. And I just thought it was really sweet. And I was trying to, to stress the little dude. You see how how being nice to people pays. How just being pleasant to people 
and being nice can work in your favor. And y'all know my history with people. People were just mean and nasty. I just got fronted out at the friggin' bins by some skinny weirdo going off on me. You know, way overkill on the going off on me over filming. People are just, you can be nasty, you can be nice. So if you can be nice, why not? And y'all know I'm not one to stir up a conversation, but this kid was so nice and so sweet, and I saw him with that little water fountain. I started the conversation. Do you collect them? Y'all know I don't do that. Y'all know I don't like that. But people, some people bring it out in you. Some people just have a nice vibe to them, and it brings the nice vibe out in people like me who are just not really social like that. But anywho, yeah, I was about to write off Goodwill, guys. I was like, uh-uh. If they seriously... Are trying to charge this much for an item that is only twenty dollars new that's beyond sick i don't think i would have been able to forget that so i'm kind of glad that i went to the counter and that they worked with me some a whole lot because i would have been i really think i would have been turned off maybe not forever because y'all know my thrifting heart but i think i would have been turned off for a while on goodwill but i wanted to share that little story time with y'all we're heading over to cvs i still can't find little dude's fiber we're heading over to a cvs and i have to go to walmart um pick up the few things that for whatever reason i didn't pick up when i was out getting the um oh y'all remember that day i was all confused and discombobulated forgot the birthday cake and forgot the milks and everything so i also forgot quite a few other things so we're gonna go ahead and top off my grocery list go to walmart and then we're gonna pick up something to eat because we haven't eaten we we got some snacks we were very snackish i was feeling real weird i was agitated and cranky at the thrift town i got real confused and and just you know when your sugar drops you get really agitated and grumpy and at least i do um i guess i could have gone around or stuck waiting for people to turn left anywho uh, so we've only had snacks, uh, so we definitely need to get something to eat. And as usual, I never have anything defrosted at the house that I can uh, cook up. But uh, I'll see you guys at home. I have, we bought a bunch of stuff. Oh my gosh, a bunch of stuff at the bins. And I wanted to go in the, little dude didn't want to go in the bins. But I said, well, I'm going to go in the bins. Do you want to wait in the car? Do you want to go into the store? You know, what do you, would and but he decided to go into the bins and i'm glad i did because i got a lot of stuff i can use in the garden in the yard i'm gonna be spray painting like crazy all week guys because a lot of this stuff and some things that i already have at home need spray painting uh just to juju them up uh for the spring you guys it's 84 degrees right now it's freaking hot i hope this isn't telling of the summer that's to come i hope it's not because honestly i think i'd rather be cold than hot the only way you can cool yourself off, even with air conditioning in the house, is by going outside and putting dang water hose on you. That's the only way. At least inside, you bundle up, you put on robes and socks and slippers and blankets, and you can stay warm. But in the heat, at least in Texas, even in air conditioning and a fan blowing on you and ice water with a straw, sometimes it's just too hot. And you can't take off all your clothing and be weird. So... I'd, I'd rather be cold, honestly, than hot. But anyway, Viva, did you want to go to the red? No. Okay. We're about to pass Thrift Mart intersection. I wanted to see if you wanted to go there. But, anywho, yeah, so that was our weekend. We had our um, our little birthday, our little birthday outing. Um, my friend, God bless her, she, she knows I'm nervous to drive. Ever since the accident, I didn't stay the same. Plus, I've never really liked to drive anywhere that I'm not familiar with. And the stores that, well, little dude wanted to t venture out to, one was in Hearst and one was uh, in Garland. And those are all on the other side of me. And then we got stuck on terrible traffic. If you are if you know this area, 20 and 635 are a freaking mess. We got stuck in traffic. It took us way longer to get there than it should have. But did you like the stores, Peanut? Yeah. Yeah. We went to the vintage toy store. Yeah, what, 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 what'd what you find there? Oh, a checky, right? Yeah. Uh, we went to the vintage store. And I really thought he was going to want a whole bunch of stuff. I'm the one that ended up wanting a bunch of stuff. But no, I didn't buy anything for myself. Did I? I did. I bought myself one thing. I'll show you guys. Don't laugh. If you're an 80s kid, you will feel me. If you're an 80s kid and like scary movies, you're going to feel me when I show you what I got. But uh, we went to the vintage toy store. And that took us forever to find it. It's in an industrial area. Or a bunch of warehouses and, and, and stuff and it's a freaking toy store but it took us a while to find it once we got it out of traffic but we found it 
we went in it's a really nice store i'll show you guys footage of that i don't know if they'll i don't know if they'll tell me to stop did you not see this did you not see this oh my goodness look at the tom and jerry do it again that is so cute how cute is he a puppet oh he's a puppet I'm trying to get a lay of the land. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. How much is that? Probably a hundred of the boats. Look at the Halloween. <gasps> Hellraiser. It part seven. See the one I told you I didn't have. Part seven, Jason. Hmm. Part two, Jason. Is this your key? Is this your key? No, that's all we How is this supposed to be vintage? Yeah. What is it? Well, yeah, I guess what? they have new and old. What does he do? It's supposed to tell, but I think it's supposed to pull something out. A pull? The little ETs. I would love every one of these ETs all dressed up. I love the ET in the dress. A Deadpool. Yeah, that's the original Deadpool. I can tell because of the eye. Frankenstein. Look at the Chucky. Is that the one you have? No, that's not the one I have, but it's a different one. Because the one I have has a, the box is bigger. What about these Michael Myerses? You have these? Oh, that's the 2018 Retro Claw. I don't have that one. Do you have a Freddy, Caleb? We had found him at the swap meet. Remember? I still have him. Where is he? On the ship. Freddy? Yeah. What's the difference between that Chucky and the one you have? That one's from like the movie movies. Oh, that one's from the movie movies, and you got the one from the show, right? Yeah. There's a big difference. I'll, I'll show you when we get here. Okay. This one looks legit. I like that one. <laughs> Is that an actual mascot? I uh, maybe. I think it might be. Yeah, look. It's a Toys R Us basket. Aww. <laughs> The bees coming out of his mouth. The burnt up ribs. They're Sam's. Oh my gosh, it's cheaper creepers. Right here. It's cheaper creepers. Slippy Hollow. $24.99. I think I'm getting candy man. There's two stickers on it though. One nineteen ninety nine and that other one over here was three forty nine ninety nine. And the other one was right I don't know how much that one cost. Yeah, these are no longer made. How much is that one? I swear you had these. I swear you had these. And you probably still have them all broken up in your bin. And then we went over to Hearst, and there's a little area. Is that the place that had all the little stores connected, Peanut? Yeah. Okay. So we went over to Hearst, and I thought it was just going to be one store, the Horror Freak. Horror Freak, right? That's what it's called? I thought it was just going to be the Horror Freak, but my friend mentioned that there was a thrift store near there. I'm like, hey, thrift store. No, they're all stuck together. It was the Horror Freak show, the thrift store, and then some other little consignment -y shop. It looked a little too bougie. For the kids we didn't think the kids would enjoy looking in there and i don't know the stuff just looked a little too eclectic for my taste so we didn't go into the third one but we did do a little perusing in the other two how do we get in over yonder that is cool yes 
Ay, this is disturbing. This. Look at David feeding. <laughs> Oh, hello. Really? Oh, wow. No. Are these house shoes? Shut up. They're stinking house shoes. Caleb, look. Look. They're squishy. Oh. These are so stinking cute. Look, I heard their voice. Look, a carpet. <laughs> you need one of these. You do. You need a carpet for your room like that. She too was afflicted with the Helsinki family curse, which has ruined many a life, including that of Alora. You. I must say the resemblance between the two of you is remarkable. No wonder Vladimir was so shocked at the very sight of you all. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Coming out from under your bed? That would be awesome. That's so cute. I don't like Glenn. Why? Uh-uh. Oh. Look at that lunchbox. No. I want it. It's so stinking cool. That's amazing. There's my girl. <laughs> I know, I just noticed there's movies. Ew. How would he do this? Look at that thing down there. Hold on. <gasps> Look it! Did you see the Sam? Yep. With the interchangeable head? Yep. That is so cool. Oh, I like him. <laughs> There's a lot of kiss stuff. That's too small. You just really not think you think I'm gonna wear it? So cool. Oh my goodness. This this lamp thingy. But yeah, I was surprised Little Dude didn't really just want a bunch of stuff, especially in the Horror Freak store. That's the store where I wanted a whole bunch of stuff. I wanted a bunch of stuff, but I'm like, no, no, no. I'm not here for me. But then we went home. We picked up a whole bunch of pizzas. We picked up, picked up a box of fried chicken. Stuff that I knew Little Dude liked, just to make sure he had like an assortment of things he liked. Grabbed some sodies. We went home. We had uh, dinner. He opened his gifts. We watched... We watched uh, what one movie before we went out to do s'mores, right? Thanksgiving. Yeah, we watched Thanksgiving, and then we uh, went outside and did s'mores, and 
that was fun. They dressed up him and his little buddy. I swear, it's always Halloween in our house, guys. It's always Halloween when those two get together. I guarantee you there's a freaking costume somewhere. They're going to be dressed up. They're going to swap outfits, clothes, something. But it's just, it's just the way our kids are. That's just the way they are. A lot of people, me and my friend were discussing how a lot of people might give a side eye as parents. Like, what the heck? What is up with these kids always in costume or just doing scary stuff? That's our kids. What's wrong with it? Nothing. Stephen King started that way. Wes Craven. All these people. There are scary movies in this world because there were little boys and young men with vivid imaginations. But, um... We did s'mores and then we came in and we watched a couple more movies until our old bodies started getting achy and the kids started getting tired so um my friends went home and then i just relaxed a little bit i knocked out i don't even remember knocking out what time did you fall asleep peanut uh, two two i don't know when i fell asleep maybe around that time i don't know but um i don't even remember falling asleep but i slept so good and i woke up this morning and we hit the streets beautiful boy you guys my finny has ick it's a fungus if you look closely you might be able to see see this white fuzzy stuff on the top see right there right there y'all see that white kind of discoloration on top it's a fungus among us y'all it's called ick and I got to get rid of it because it can affect their little fins. It can cause fin rot. And he already has some issues with his little top fins. Can you see how short they are? He's got some T-Rex situation happening. But according to PetSmart and the Google, it can be fixed. And he can get new and healthy regrowth on his little fins. So I went ahead and cleaned out... The tank and all of his little um, plants, I replaced two of the tall giant ones with these shorter ones. He likes to have hidey holes and hidey spots, so I wanted him to have some of those. So I went ahead and just uh, put in some shorter little plants. Um, I put an eighth of a spoon of this aquarium salt in his water, which was recommended as well as one drop of this Cordon Rapid Cure. It's one drop per two gallons of water for Tetris. Um, so I followed the instructions and mixed it up in there and introduced him back into his little tank and he's already, I don't know, this is supposed to fix them in 48 hours or promote healing in 48 hours. So, um, I mean, he's full of pet, but you see the funk. You see the funk on his little back, my poor baby, my little baby, oh no. So I'm supposed to put a drop of this in his tank once a day for three days. And after those three days, I can put his little filter back in. 24 hours after the third day, I can put his little filter back in. So right now he's going to be filterless, but I went ahead and turned it on just so he'll have some movement in his water. And uh, yeah, hopefully... My little baby gets that stuff off of him and that little top fin flares out again because, um, what is that called? Stiff fin? I think it's called stiff fin when it, when they get stuck like that. But once he gets treated, but once he gets treated, that should flare back out like his bottom and back ones. Thankfully, his back tail looks good. His bottom fin looks good. But, but his little flippers were becoming affected and hopefully... He'll be back to his happy, happy self in a couple days. Well, 
it's many many hours later um it's almost bedtime actually and i didn't get to do the haul because i decided i better tend to my little fish face today i was gonna wait until tomorrow and uh do a little more research about what i should use but i did enough research on what to buy and what to use for the fishing the guy at PetSmart told me the same thing Google said, uh, but I found the stuff cheaper at Walmart than at PetSmart. Uh, so I bought it and I'm crossing my fingers that when I wake up tomorrow, Finney is going to be alive. I don't know. I just don't like the idea of putting chemicals and stuff into the water. I've never had to, you know, but y'all know I love that little, that little finned fiend. I just love that little blue thing. It's a fish, and I just love him. Little dude's cracking up about something. But anywho, so I treated his water, and I'll continue to treat him for the next three days like I should. But that took longer than it, it was supposed to because I had to make sure, you know, I just cleaned up everything and sanitized everything and made sure everything was pristine to drop him back in. The water's still a little chilly. It's like 65 degrees, and I had him like around 80. So I'm hoping that uh, here in the next few hours it'll get nice and warm for him. I was told that the changing the temperature, dropping in that um, heater, while it's beneficial to the tropical fishy of it all, if you don't keep the water cleaner than you used to before dropping in the heat, it can make bacteria and stuff grow into the water. You know, the pee pee and poo poo and food and stuff like that. The heat combined with all that can cause fungal infections. So I think I gave him a fungus when I dropped the heater in there. But, um, I just got to take care of him. Like I take care of Martin and hopefully he'll be okay. But it got too late to do the haul. The stuff from the bins, guys, is completely scattered and loose in my trunk. They don't give you bags. Every now and then they'll give you bags. But when it's big stuff, heavy stuff, like the stuff that I found, there's really no bags. So they just, um, have you put the cart up on top of the scale and they minus off how much an empty cart cost. And then the rest of it is... The weight of your goods and then they charge you for that uh, but I got some stuff that I just think is gonna be really pretty in the yard like I said once I spray paint once I get out there and and clean it off and dust it and wash it down and spray paint it I think it's gonna be in handy I might use one of the things inside uh, I might I'm not sure but uh, I'll definitely do the big haul tomorrow uh, but I came upstairs and there were a few scattered things up here that I can go ahead and show y'all now we did go to Walmart because I was looking for um oh what, what did I go oh, at Walmart to do my um my last minute grocery stuff and we went to the clearance aisle because we always go to the clearance aisle and little dude spotted this and I was so stinking excited I swear you'd think I was a little girl now when these first came out I wanted one but I was not gonna spend no 14 or 16 dollars depending on size for one of these suckers but I wanted one so bad you guys and he found he found it, and the clearance price was $2. Now, what the heck is that thing? Okay, it's a stuffy. I hope he's not torn. Now that I think about it, why is he in a baggie? No, he's not. Look. It's a Pop Art Soft stuffy, and it's a little elephant. I don't know if you guys remember I was doing a Walmart haul or Walmart shop with me and I saw these and I fell in love. They had elephants and a couple of other little animals and I fell in love with the elephant. Isn't he cute? It has the little, the little old timey comic book, you know, pops. Uh, oh my gosh, he's so cute. And I really wanted him because I have a few white elephants in here with their little trunks up. And supposedly, I don't know how true it is. Uh, elephants are good luck and if their little trunks are up it's good luck and you point their little up trunk towards a door it's supposed to usher in good luck I'm not sure I don't know I've heard that my whole life but look <laughs> oh he's so squishy so I got him for two bucks um I didn't find the fiber at Walmart which I knew I wasn't gonna find it so we went to CVS trying to find the fiber. CVS didn't have it. They have that brand in vitamins and immune C, immune C, 
uh, in all kinds of things, but not the fiber. I cannot find the fiber. The only place I can find the fiber here lately is at Target, and I didn't want to go all the way to Target. So tomorrow I'm going to have to go to Target. But while I was at CVS, I noticed that they had a lot of things on clearance and on sale, I guess for Valentine's. Now, this was not on clearance or sale, but I smelled it, and I had to have it. It was like $5 and some cents. Aeropostal Peach and Daisy Body Spray. Oh my gosh. Body Mist. Fruity and Floral Collection by Aeropostal. How can I describe this to you guys? Peach candy. Peach ice cream. Peach and vanilla. If you've ever had homemade peach ice cream. If you've ever had peach ice cream, period. The peach chunks in the vanilla ice cream... That's exactly what this smells like. <sighs> I love peach ice cream. But the homemade, if you can find anywhere that makes hand cranked homemade peach ice cream, please try it. If you're Southern and you have not had peach ice cream, I think you lose some Southern points. Like I lose Southern points for not liking Whataburger. You're going to lose Southern points if you've never had homemade peach ice cream. But that's exactly what this smells like. I'm tempted to spray it now, but it's a little too strong. I'm a little too tired to be you know wide awake oh the heck with it because i want to watch oppenheimer still i still haven't watched oppenheimer i'll spray it here because i don't want to get it too close to my face oh oh my gosh that is some concentrated peach i thought it was just going to be a wisp of peach and vanilla because i smelled more of the vanilla just on the little tip Oh my gosh. That is amazing. I wonder how much that's going to last. It is just a burst of peach and then just a little, hi, of vanilla. Oh my gosh, that is amazing, you guys. I wish there was smell of vision. Oh, so summery. I'm going to see how long it lasts because I'm going to be up a while. Again, I've been threatening to watch Oppenheimer and I get too tired. I get too sleepy. I get sidetracked, but I really want to watch it. I was just online earlier and I saw that Killian Murphy won the SAG Award for Oppenheimer. I am so proud, so excited. I'm such a fan of his. Such a fan. Um, I cannot wait for the Oscars. I think Oppenheimer's going to clean house and I hope he wins Best Actor. I don't even know who else is up for Best Actor and I don't care. Okay. I hope he wins it. He's so humble. He's such a humble, nice guy. I knew about his acting, and I am a fan of his acting. Um, but I never really watched interviews of his or anything like that. So I was curious, you know. He is so stinking humble. So he's not spoiled by Hollywood. It's because they live in England. Well, he's Ir he lives in Ireland. Um, he's not spoiled by Hollywood. And I love that somebody said about him. He is an actor, not a movie star. And then somebody else said the worst thing that could have happened to Killian Murphy was that he went from an actor to a movie star. But I don't think he's going to become a movie star. I don't think they act the way we act here in Ireland. I, he's just so humble and just so down to earth. They showed him in a pub having a few pints with his friends, just being normal. He's been married for 20 years. You know, never hear about him acting a fool or being out in public yeah i'm having a whole killian murphy moment right now okay but see, i could say the same thing about tom hardy and tom hardy is from england they're not spoiled hollywood doesn't reach them because they work they film and they go home they go home to their wives they go home to their kids they go home to their communities to their neighborhoods to they go home and hollywood doesn't spoil them not yet again tom hardy's another one you don't hear no mess about tom hardy out in the street I mean, unless you dig in his past, but yeah, but since he's been an actor, and that's another one that's an actor, he's amazing, an amazing talent, but how to get off on this tangent? Oh, I was saying, I'm going to be up a few hours to see the longevity of this spray because I am going to watch um, Oppenheimer. I wanted to watch downstairs, but I'm not very comfortable downstairs. I'm really comfortable up here, which can be a bad thing because if I get too comfortable, I'm a cat and I fall asleep, but anyway. Have y'all watched Oppenheimer? Do y'all love it? I've heard amazing things about it. I know some of you guys have watched it because y'all told me it's really, really good. Have you watched it more than once? I've heard, I've heard, I've heard people have watched it over and over again. 
So yeah, I'm going to settle down and watch him get me a big tall glass of ice water, some grapes, and I'm going to sit and watch Oppenheimer. But I have a few other things to show you guys uh, randomly that I had up here. I didn't show you guys this on my Dollar Tree. The video where I did my Dollar Tree, I showed you guys. Did I show you guys any Dollar Tree stuff? I might not have found any Dollar Tree stuff worth showing on the last video I did Dollar Tree on. But anywho, look. It's these little plant uh, uh, trolleys. And they roll. They really roll. They have little plastic wheels. I thought that is going to be so perfect for my patio because I have so many pots. And when I want to move them around or whatever, it's just a pain in the butt. When I want to bring them in, it's a pain in the butt. So I got two of these orange and two of these uh, beigey color. $1.25. Can't beat it. Hopefully the little wheels don't pop off. And hopefully the weight of the plant doesn't put so much pressure on them. But no, they don't move. I thought if... The pot was too heavy, it would squish the little wheel into the divot and then it wouldn't roll. But I'm putting significant pressure on it and it is not, it is not coming down. Oh yeah, those are going to be good. So I got those. Then the only other thing that I have up here that I wanted to show you guys was my find at the Vintage Toy Store. Y'all saw me looking at them. I had to have them, you guys. It's Candyman. I used to love this movie as a teenager. I'm not a fan of the remake or part two or whatever that was that came out a few years ago. It wasn't bad, but I'm such a fan of the original. It was a good one. Don't get me wrong. The new remake part two, whatever, it was a good one. But it's nothing compared to this one. As cheesy by today's horror standards, scary movie standards as this was, still amazing. I don't want to take him out of his box. But here you have his head with the bees coming out. And here you have his burnt bird uh, rib cage. Because I know y'all set the man on they set the man on fire. And he was only $20. He's gonna be so awesome for my collection. No, well, not even my collection. Little dude is on with the collection. He's gonna be so awesome for the collection in this house of scary things. But that was it. That was so cool. That's everything that I have up here to show you guys. Like I said, tomorrow I will empty out that trunk there's stuff scattered all over the place did we get anything at goodwill aside from that ridiculous uh sheep head i think i got a th couple things one or two things i did i did i'll show you guys tomorrow so i'll see you guys tomorrow hope you guys had a great weekend thank you guys for the birthday wishes on my other video you guys are already wishing little dude a happy birthday thank you so much he had a good time low key just like you wanted mama was trying to do something something but he was just like he enjoyed he enjoyed his 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 day he enjoyed his birthday and that's all that matters so i hope you guys had a wonderful weekend i hope you guys are going to start off your week wonderfully uh without any drama without any sadness without any you know without anything bad so until my next go around i love y'all gorgeous bye